Well, your property taxes will see a slight increase next year due to the recently approved 1% increase in property taxes from the County Board of Commissioners. Alexandra Cohen-Yards joins us live in studio now with a breakdown of how much this will impact your wallet. Derek and Kirsten, the County General Fund actually gets a marginal amount of the property taxes overall in Spokane. This graph behind me shows you how a homeowner in the city of Spokane's taxes are split when looking at the $9.66 per property tax per $1,000 in assessed value. As you can see, more than half of that money goes towards schools. The County General Fund gets just around 7%, which counts for 70 cents for this assessed value. This is the number that would increase with this added property tax. As for how much this would really cost you, for the average homeowner, it will result in a 24 cent increase in property tax per month and almost $3 increase per year. The county commissioners have been working on the budget for 2025 for months. Those in favor of the tax believe the revenue this will generate is needed to ensure public safety departments get necessary funding. I think the citizens uh, need to know that we worked hard to look for every efficiency. We have frozen the budget of several of our county departments and made cuts in other areas. Um, so I look at this as a last resort, but it's important that we be able to meet those critical needs for public safety. The Spokane County Prosecutors and Sheriff's Offices also spoke in favor of this tax increase, saying it will help them enhance the resources they provide. But those who oppose it argue the money needed to do this already exists in the 2025 budget. Uh, we had $12 million uh, in budget capacity to spread out amongst all of our departments to give them above the amount that they had received in the 2024 budget. So that is uh, probably the main reason why I did not support the property tax increase. We could make our budget balance without it. Commissioners Josh Kern and Kearns and Al French were the minority that voted against this property tax increase. Kearns says he believes adding it creates an unnecessary burden on taxpayers that could be mitigated. This tax is not 1% per home, but 1% over what the county brought in last year in property taxes. The tax would make the county general fund an additional $652,000. The board will decide how that money is budgeted at their December 2nd meeting. In studio tonight, Alexandra Coneyards, 4 News Now.